The Golden Knights take on the Anaheim Ducks tonight. Players are wearing camouflage jerseys during warm-ups for military. Yeah, those jerseys then they're going to be auctioned off to raise money off for the Folded Flag Foundation. And as 13 Action News sports reporter Jackie Kostick shares, there is a special puck drop plan for tonight. This is Ed Hall when he was 21 years old, serving in the U.S. Army as a private first class. This is Ed Hall, now 95 years old. And Ed, tonight you're going to be dropping the puck at the Vegas Golden Knights game. Are you excited? Oh, you betcha. Hey, <laughs> darn right I am. Ed Hall was scrubbing a frying pan when the first bomb dropped. All of a sudden I heard a boom. He went back to cleaning the pan, but then a louder one, and then... That was the loudest explosion you could ever imagine. Hall was 18 years old, serving in the U.S. Army Air Corps and under Japanese attack at Pearl Harbor. Guys were running every which way. Hall ran to outside the kitchen where he had planned to make breakfast. Planes cut across the sky overhead. Guy come running out, flagged me down. He says, I'm a medic. We got wounded. We got to get him to the hospital. Hall survived the attack and helped others survive too. I think everyone that survived that horrible day did the very best that they could possibly do. I don't think any man could have done any better than what he did. Now at 95 years old, Hall is the only living Pearl Harbor survivor in Southern Nevada. So Ed will be dropping that ceremonial puck tonight alongside a Gold Star family and a current member of the U.S. Air Force who is serving at Nellis Air Base.